Welcome to Simno Tech. I'm Alex. How you doing? We are unboxing the ZTE Nubia Red Magic 3. Uh, so Nubia is the offshoot of ZTE. Uh, they make a lot of phones. Last year they made a really nice gaming phone and this is kind of like a sequel to that. Uh, in this package they gave us this USB-C cable outside of the box. Pretty cool stuff. They sell this on their website as well. But yeah, it's a really nice uh, gaming inspired cable. And they also gave us earphones these are the noobs earphones uh yeah i guess gaming inspired name kind of dumb name in my opinion but nonetheless here is the gaming box with that nice insignia uh for this red magic offshoot brand that they're really trying to sell off uh we'll go over the specs in a little bit so let's cut this baby open and unbox it so you know nubia has always you know, sold some really nice spec phones for really cheap, affordable prices. And the packaging really shows a premium side. And there we go. There's the Red Magic right there. Ooh, this is a pretty big phone right off the bat. And it feels pretty premium. You're not going to see something like this out in the wild too often. Uh, just quickly looking over it, we have these unique shutter buttons, which we'll get into a, a little more in depth later. Uh, volume rockers on one side with the power button, and we also have a headphone jack. So a gaming phone with a headphone jack, that is a thumbs up for a lot of people. And then on the opposite end, we have this kind of like magnetic dock area that you can use for their own custom dock, which uh, I don't even know if it's available yet. Um, and then of course the toggle for game mode, which we'll check out. And the screen, and we'll, we'll turn it on right now and go with the rest of the box to see what's in it first. Uh, and then we'll talk about the screen. And we're, there's a lot to talk about here. But here is a charging brick. And then it also gives you, uh, I guess it gives you a USB-C to USB-A cable inside the box too. So uh, yeah, I guess you gave us a spare cable. Pretty cool though. It does look different though. You see that one that they gave us uh, outside? That looks a little different. And then they also give you some stickers and um, a guidebook, an intro book with a bunch of different languages. So at least it's not just Chinese. This is the global U.S. version phone. So, okay, first thing we're going to start talking about with this particular phone is this LED strip in the back. That's the first thing you're going to notice, and that is obviously its selling point, and it's, it's really unique. We'll um, take a look at how that works very soon, but fingerprint scanner is also really quick, uh, but it's a little high up where I would like it. This is a pretty big phone. It's pretty, it grips really wide. So uh, fingerprint scanner works pretty well. And as you can see, this is pretty clean stock Android. The settings, everything is relatively stock Android, even the settings menus. Uh, and we are running Android 9, version 9 Pi, so just 9.0 Pi. Um, I'm really not expecting much updates. I mean, ZTE, I've, I've had plenty of ZTE phones in the past. Uh, never Nubia, but I don't expect them to get updates. I really do. From past ZTE devices, I don't think it's going to get a lot of updates. Uh, but regardless, at least the interface is really nice and clean. Uh, even the bloatware, there's no bloatware. Uh, other than a couple of ZTE apps specifically for this phone, like the LED strip um, that you can modify the color, um, frequency, brightness. It's, it's pretty cool. You can customize it like you would do a gaming keyboard. Um, and here, let's, let's go into the settings now. I'll show you guys how this actually works. So I did play around with this a little bit. You can actually do multiple things with this LED strip. Uh, first, you can control the, 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 what they call it, the lamp, but I call it like the insignia. Uh, you can kind of alter how it lights up. So you can have it just light up, period, by just keeping it on like that. Or you can have it breathe. So this pulsing thing, kind of like how gaming PCs are. So gaming PCs give you plenty of customization options for your LEDs. And what Nubia has given you here is to customize that one strip and also that shield really nicely. Uh, and speaking of that strip right there, they give you plenty of options right off the bat, just like your PC uh, would, or just like your um, keyboard, your gaming keyboards could. So I, th there's multiple options, and I think they're all really neat. Just imagine this on your phone, and it's real. You're, you're holding it. And you know we've seen this in the past, but 
I've checked out a few gaming phones with LED strips on them, but I do have to say, I think this one is the best of them all. All right, let's uh, actually, st I'll show you guys how this works. So you have to toggle the game mode and it launches that red magic game mode. And those LEDs light up when they're normally in regular phone mode, it doesn't really light up. Uh, but once you get it into the game mode, you see the LED strips and the programming that you do uh, lights up. Oh, and just a little shout out, I do have to say, I really like where Nubia put the 48 megapixel rear sensor. I really like how they put that in Superman shield. That is a really nice design. All right, so let's actually take a look at this whole gaming mode thing. The gaming mode uh, is not like a special thing that's only exclusive to Nubia. We've seen gaming modes on other gaming phones like the Black Shark. But uh, it's pretty refined here, and what I it, it kind of makes me feel like I'm using uh, an Nvidia shield. Honestly, that's that's what it feels like here. Uh, but okay, well, the cool thing about this phone is it comes with these two shutter buttons on the top, which will be great for games like PUBG or Fortnite, where you have to use the trigger buttons to shoot. But you can customize it, which. What you do is they give you two buttons that you can just drag and drop on any on-screen menu. And then what that does is whenever you tap those trigger buttons, it will actually use that button. So as you can see here, I programmed it to uh, the, the right one to be a regular attack. And I dropped the left one onto a magic attack. So like in this particular game, there's multiple skills. So it might not be perfect, but you can at least use it for a couple of things. Uh, so as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. I, I'm pressing the button. I don't have to use my thumb to click on it. Uh, so it's kind of neat that you have that extra option up there uh, for two program programmable buttons. And while you're in this gaming mode, you can't accidentally click your navigation stuff. You have to turn it off to put your navigation menus back on. So that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, all gaming modes on the other gaming phones also do that. And speaking of additional features, you can turn on and off the fan on this phone. There is a fan that keeps this phone cool, so it allows you to play games for a longer period of time. Uh, really cool. This is a liquid cooling system on this phone. Very, very cool stuff. We'll get into the depth. I'll do a video just testing out games and seeing how long it can take this thing. You can also adjust brightness uh, directly from there. And there's this whole this special mode that adds like haptic feedback, but only for four games. So this particular game I have here doesn't have that. I'll test that out uh, eventually with PUBG, but I haven't played PUBG in a while, so <laughs> I don't really want to jump into it. But um, Regardless of that, yeah, the, the, this is pretty fleshed out. It's, it's actually pretty nice, and I don't see any residual Chinese on here uh, like the Black Shark. The Black Shark, even the global version, had residual Chinese just, like, laying around. This phone is pretty refined. Like, Nubia really made this for the U.S. market, uh, European markets, etc. Um, and speaking of the pins, you can actually dock this into their own dock, to uh, it's supposed to help cool the device too, kind of like Asus has a couple of those for their gaming phone. Um, let's see. Okay, let's talk about the camera. So this is a 48 megapixel camera, a rear camera here. Um, we're gonna have to test this out. I mean, that, that's a lot of megapixels, but I, uh, we all know megapixels don't. They, they don't. It's not the tell-all, end-all, and you know I don't really know what to expect from the Nubia cameras like i haven't really heard much from them uh zte the axon phones yeah the cameras have not really performed too well from my testing of the devices in the past so uh i'm interested to test this one out to see what it is how it performs and you know it uses a snapdragon 855 so i do consider this a flagship phone but the price point is just terrific it's under 500 bucks um so yeah, okay, let's let's actually open a video as well. There's some stuff I want to talk about. So the aspect ratio and the the screen is really nice. It's it's they call it a bezel-less display, but obviously this is nowhere near some of the other ones like the Xiaomi Mi Mixes and the Samsung phones. But there is a bezel for a good reason because we have dual front-facing speakers. So they're very min minimal and you can't really see them. You have to look for them but they're really there. So there, <laughs> we have dual front-facing speakers, which for a video uh, consuming device or any gaming phone, it's really nice to have. And the audio quality is actually pretty good. What's also pretty cool, when you're in game mode, you can do picture in picture. So you can actually watch a YouTube video and play a game at the same time or watch like a tutorial while you're playing a game. 
That is absolutely awesome. Okay, now let's jump into the display because we got a lot of cool stuff here. It's a 6.65 inch 1080p display. And yes, it's an AMOLED display. It's a 19.5 by nine aspect ratio. So we do have that elongated aspect ratio. Uh, what's really cool here though, is it's also a 90 Hertz refresh rate, 90 Hertz display. So this is exactly the same type of thing that we're talking about with the OnePlus 7 Pro that everyone's excited about. It makes this phone buttery smooth when you scroll and view articles and stuff like that. Uh, I'm really excited to actually use this phone because I haven't used a 90 hertz display. I've only played with the OnePlus 7 Pro uh, at T-Mobile, so I really haven't gotten my hands on something like this. And I've never really played with the Razer too much as well. So I'm really excited to use this every single day uh, to test it out. Um, you know, also, I have to say that the Snapdragon 855 processor on here with 6 gigabytes of RAM, it's it's pretty cool, man. I mean, think about the pricing on this phone. This is actually undercutting the Asus Zenfone 6. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that phone is just the best value out there. This phone has that Snapdragon 855. So we got a lot of similarities here. And it has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, but yes, it does make the phone a little heavier, uh, but 5,000 milliamp hour battery, you, you gotta be kidding me. This thing is just amazing. But I'm actually quite excited about this phone, not only because of the price point. Yes, the price point has me really fired up, less than 500 bucks for a Snapdragon 855. I'm very excited about the Zen Phone 6, really, I am. But this phone, there's some aesthetic difference here compared to all the other phones you see on the market. Like I said, with that Superman shield camera, with the LED strip, there's just things here that are unique. And it's not for everybody. Yeah, some people really like a business phone, very clean iPhone aesthetics. But this thing here is different. And at the end of the day, that's all a lot of people ask for, like like me, we just want innovation, something different. So instead of just rehashing the same design over and over, we want something different. And ZTE really has kind of provided us something like that here. And I'm really excited to see how this thing holds up, see how that Snapdragon 855 works with the software, and just see how long that LED strip amuses me because right now I think that's so damn cool. Once again, my name is Alex from Similar Tech. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to come back very soon because I'm gonna have a full review of this phone. I'm also gonna do some gaming tests. I'm gonna download a bunch of games. So let me know what games you wanna see being tested on this. And I'll see you guys very soon. And that's it. Be sure to subscribe here. Hit the bell button so you don't miss any of our videos and check out our other videos right here. Until next time, 